Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. We are well into the second quarter now, completing the first week of April here, coming up shortly, and ready to sort of download a bit with you on the first quarter of 2017. Um, despite the fact that the Dow was down 0.7% in the month of March, the S&P was about flat, just a tiny, tiny bit down. In the month, the quarter ended up uh, in the stock market up quite nicely, about 4.5% on the Dow and about 5.5% on the S&P. So you're looking at about a 5% up quarter to start the year with obviously all of that coming in the January, February portion of the quarter. I think that most people know, and we've certainly been talking about it for successive weeks now, that where the market stands is a bit of a pause related to questions around the ability of the Trump administration to execute on some of their pro-growth uh, intentions from tax reform and uh, to deregulation, uh, to repatriation of foreign profits, um, and, and a number of other measures that are designed to, to create growth, uh, GDP growth in the economy. Consequently, we believe create revenue growth for corporate America, and then from there create margin expansion and of course profit growth. But those profits are the story. There's a kind of easy layup for profits if indeed they get corporate tax relief. By definition, after tax profits go up when a portion of the tax liability goes away. But um, even apart from that, we're going to find out now here into the second quarter if indeed the expectations for earnings growth are materializing. And so the reason why the market's been reasonably still here lately is we're in a wait and see mode. The wheels of change in Washington, D.C. are not going quickly, and so we're kind of having to wait out some of those intentions. The market's vote on that thus far has been that they expect it will get done, but now we've kind of priced in a lot of that and we're, we're uh, sitting still there. But then from an earnings standpoint, uh, earnings season reporting from Q1 will begin at the end of next week, and we expect to see in the second half of April and into the beginning part of May a better understanding of A, corporate American results, corporate America expectations going forward here into the remainder of 2017. So although we believe the Fed and central bank activity is still out there, they've really largely become a kind of non-event in the markets. And I'll give you an illustration of something that took place this week that, that kind of captures some of that. Everyone is aware that the Fed has now raised rates twice, a quarter point each in the last three or four months, once in December, once in March. Um, but the Fed from the early part of 2009 until where we stand now has added approximately $4 trillion, with a T, trillion dollars to their balance sheet, meaning they have bought bonds with money that didn't exist. And the intention to do that was to hold rates down and to create more liquidity and money supply to help grow the economy. Uh, there's a lot of criticisms that may exist around that monetary tool. There's a lot of compliments that could exist as to how aggressive they were in attempting post-financial crisis to, to drive economic uh, uh, recovery. Uh, it's not our intention to relitigate that decision now. My point, though, is that at a year ago, or, or even probably six months ago, the announcement that the Fed was going to actually start to decrease that balance sheet would have been perceived as a very aggressive monetary tool um, uh, for tightening. And this week, that's basically what happened. They kind of leaked the story to the Wall Street Journal that they're intending to do this. And then it was actually in their minutes that came out on Wednesday this week. And yet the market's basically flat on the week. Now, granted, on Wednesday we were up uh, over 100 points, and then we gave a lot of that back up a little bit on Thursday. So not, not just my point being a pretty much non-dramatic reaction. So I think that what you have right now is a total shift out of monetary policy in the driver's seat to fiscal policy, out of the Federal Reserve to the White House, and then corporate earnings driving real investor appetite for the future. Are these valuations, everyone knows they're paying up a little bit, are they warranted given the, the trajectory of profits? That will be the question, I think, that will define where we go, at least for the next quarter, probably, uh, probably two quarters, I would guess. 
But in terms of just finalizing that debrief of Q1, we have a lot of statistics and summary of this in the written Dividend Cafe this week at DividendCafe.com. But um, in addition to a really robust performance in the equity market, emerging markets came out as the clear leader, up about 12% on the quarter after a pretty difficult time post-election in Q4. The technology sector and the healthcare sector were the big winners. In Q1, uh, telecom and energy were the only sectors that were negative uh, by a bit in Q1. Uh, the other nine S&P 500 sectors had a positive return. Pretty much every element of the bond market was up in Q1, high yield quite a bit, um, more modestly so, your high grade corporate bonds, treasury bonds, Fannie Freddie, agency, mortgage bonds, all a positive return. So good quarter for investors. Most alternatives with a positive result. We already talked about equities and, and bonds too. So here we are looking for earnings and of course more updates around the political environment and the ability of the Trump administration to drive their agenda. That's really in the driver's seat right now, more so than the Fed. I'm going to leave it there. I uh, look forward to coming back to you next week. Either I'm going to try to film this from a family vacation out of the country uh, in the Caribbean. And if you don't see me next week, it's because we couldn't make that work. And, and you'll be very blessed to actually hear from one of the other Bonson Group partners. Um, so look forward to wherever things go next week and look forward to uh, tax season coming to an end, which is also just a week away now. Thanks so much for listening. Dividend Cafe.